good morning a very early morning actually it is 6 24 a.m and i'm on my way to a doctor's appointment um i don't even know it's not really an appointment it's not a procedure well i, I don't even know what to call it but i'm just they're gonna look at some things um internally so that's what I'm on my way to do. Um, I'm supposed to be there at 7 a.m. My appointment starts at 7.30. And I'm supposed to drink 30 ounces of water 60 minutes before my appointment time. So I got like five minutes before I gotta guzzle down 30 ounces of water. Um, and I can't use the bathroom until afterwards, <laughs> which is crazy. Um, so last week was so good, um, with the wedding and everything. I'm just so overjoyed and happy for my friend and her husband. Amen. Like she a whole wife. I have on, um, workout clothes. Um, yeah, I have on workout clothes now because, at, but after I leave this appointment, I want to go to Trader Joe's because I need to get some body butter and kind of see what kind of things they have that I may like. Um, and it's not far from this area that I'm going to for this appointment. Tomorrow is Taco Tuesday. And, um... We finished our corporate fast on Saturday. So um, this week I need to figure out what I'm gonna eat and like prep some things. And I know that I want tacos for Tuesday because I didn't have any meat <laughs> um, for 10 days. So, or I think nine, nine days I didn't have any meat. So, um, I want to make some tacos and I need this jalapeno green sauce that they have at Trader Joe's. It's so, so good. Oh my gosh. I usually buy like two or three bottles, but um, for sure I know I need to get that and the Trader Joe's body butter. So that's on my list today. I do want to go to the gym. I don't want to do any like weights or anything i really just want to try to do 12 3 30 on the treadmill and then that's really it for the day i'm just trying to um get a little bit of rest and take it easy but i know i just said i had <laughs> i got a lot of things to do but those are not very taxing um but yeah i just want to kind of take it easy and not overexert myself or do too much it's crazy because when I first left my house, it said that I was gonna make it there at 6.34, and now, and then it said 6.40, and now it's saying 6.45, which is cool, because my appointment, again, is at 7.30, but they want you to be there at seven. I'm about to start drinking this water. So, I have this, this Stanley cup, it's the 30 ounce Stanley. I don't have the 40 ounce Stanley because I actually was very thirsty too. I don't have the 40 ounce Stanley because that straw sticking out all the time is just, it just does not sit right with my spirit. <laughs> I am a, um, a microbiologist germaphobe and I just cannot get with that and you can put the little top on it the little cute top I don't have time to keep up with that like <laughs> I've just never liked any type of water bottle that had that straw sticking straight up I just don't get that but anyway I'm driving in the dark with my lights on and I don't think that's safe so I'm gonna be quiet now continue listening to the news um, and catching up on what's going on in this 
crazy, crazy world. And I will check in after I finish at the doctor's office. Okay, so I just finished um, with that, I don't know, procedure, test, I don't know what you call it. Um, <laughs> got very eventful because, well, not got very, it was very eventful because I was supposed to be at the location at 7 a.m. My appointment was at 7.30. I arrived at the other location. Well, I arrived at the location at 6:48. I went in at like 6:57 to the front desk to check in. So the lady said, "Don't freak out. Your appointment is at our other location." So I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> and mind you, this is the middle like the middle of morning traffic and so I'm like all right cool so I put it in my GPS and it said that I was going to arrive at 722 and then as I'm driving it pushed it back to 724 then it said 725 and all of that so but thankfully like the location that it was at was going against morning traffic. So I got there at 7.25, check in, and they see me. Um, so we did everything, and it is 8.06. So it wasn't very long at all. It's 8.06. But I'm no longer going to go to Trader Joe's because... I am not close to that location anymore and I don't feel like going back up that way right now because I'm actually hungry and also don't feel like going to the gym. I also don't feel like going to get a wax. What I feel like doing <laughs> obviously is go to my home. <laughs> I feel like going to my home, but I also feel like I also feel like I need to go to the grocery store. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back home and I'm going to eat some breakfast to take away the delusion <laughs> and then I'm going to kind of make out a meal plan for the week um and prepare for my downtime when I'm gonna be not able to do much so um yeah that's that's all so headed back to the house this plan I know I see
to go to the store um what i'm wearing is this I always know that i'm more than likely wearing something from either target or costco or both so it's raining here today and cold and it's going to be that way the whole week so i have on this red shirt from Target these sweatpants from Target. I believe I got them like two years ago and the little bottom of it kind of matches my shirt. Um, then I have on some pink Adidas, pretty old shoes. So yeah, let's go because my mom is calling me. Hello, it is Wednesday. I did not pick up the camera yesterday. Um, I was just very, very tired yesterday. Um, I think, yeah, I don't know. I was just very tired yesterday. So just trying to catch up with myself a little bit. And um, right now I'm about to go to Trader Joe's, which is what I wanted to do that Monday. It's a bit of a drive, I'm not gonna lie. It's a bit of a drive. It's raining um, pretty consistently, but I, um, I had intended to go Monday after my doctor's appointment, which was in the city, so it wasn't that far, but I think I shared that I went to the wrong location, and so that kind of just threw me all for a bit and I just I had to come back over towards where I live to go to the appointment and then and then I was just like you know what I'm just gonna go home eat and figure this out later so I wanted to go yesterday because yesterday it wasn't gonna be raining like it's raining right now but I just did not have the energy I could not get up to do it so um about to go now which also means I did not cook the tacos yesterday because I needed the sauce from Trader Joe's for my tacos so I'm about to go stock up on that stock up on my body butter that I like to get from Trader Joe's and kind of see what else they have that I might be interested in um, the roads here flood a lot when it's raining so Prayerfully, I don't run into any of that and I can go and do that. I also need to get, um, <clears throat> wow, people need to slow down. I also need to get a pants, a, a comfy pants pajama set or just a comfy set in general because, um, I'm going to need that for Friday and I don't have anything loose fitting that's comfortable that can go outside and inside so um, I need to get I need to find that I, I wanted this set they had like a charcoal gray set at um, Target or it said that they had it on the app at my local Target, but when I got there, I think it just had the top and the bottoms weren't there. And I don't know, like I just, I didn't, I also didn't want to spend $30 on it. <laughs> um, I don't know. 
So I went to Ross to see what they had, and of course they didn't have anything. And I haven't checked Marshalls or anything like that. But who else has pajama sets that are decent quality? That's not super expensive. So I have my kombucha because it is Wednesday. Um, I think I talked about this before. I have my kombucha Monday, Wednesday, Friday every week. Um, and this is ginger lemonade. Oh, I got my um, my W2s. And I also got the tax statement for my house, and then I have the tax statement for my student loans. So that means I'm gonna file my income tax because run me my coins. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna file my income tax when I get back home. I downloaded all the forms. I need to print them, but I need to add toner to my printer for that, and that's just a whole nother headache, but I like I like tangible things so I want to print them so that I can do that before the end of the day um, and then tomorrow is just the day that I'm gonna have to prep for Friday oh that Carrie Carrie Washington book thicker than water um, maybe I'm not a memoir girl when it comes to reading books because I'm just, I have no desire to pick up that book whatsoever. The library <laughs> automatically renewed it because it was due, I think it's due like on the 26th. So, um, I'm going to see how much stuff I can get done tonight. And I might try to knock it out tomorrow, but it's not, it's not an easy read for me. Um. What I have learned though is because, not is because, what I have learned though is that I kind of like memoirs to be audio and read by the author because I'm also listening to Finding Me, I think, is Viola Davis's memoir and it's really good like I've been listening to it and it's really good and, but she reads it herself so I don't know I'm, a, I'm gonna push through because I need to knock this book out before January is over which also puts me behind on reading because that's just one book and I need <laughs> I needed to read more than one book in January so this has already pushed my time back it's gonna take me an hour to get over here at this point because it typically, typically from my house to this point, it would take six minutes. It, it's already 11 minutes and I'm really not even to the point where I usually am. So I don't know. I'm going to focus on the road the because right it's wet. Oops. I'm going to focus on the road because it's wet and something happened somewhere because I just saw an ambulance right there <laughs> and a, a fire truck. I laugh when I said ambulance because one of my coworkers, I was telling her about something that happened with one of my neighbors where they had to call the ambulance to the house and she was like, I like how you say ambulance. And I'm like, how do I say it? Because I felt like I say it normal. And she was like, you say ambulance. And I'm like, well, what is it? And she's like, ambulance, ambulance. Like, and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, I don't know, that was funny. But yeah, I'm gonna focus on the road because while it's not a huge downpour, because there have been consistent rain, there's ponding on the sides of the roads, and I just don't want to. I don't want to not be completely focused and do something crazy. So, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm out. I don't know.
fell for your way, baby. I know, girl, but in the know from the first time, the first time I seen you love, you got me, baby. Even though, girl, I know that I will fall for you, you got to know that everyone falls. Oops, I done fell so deep, baby. Oops, I want you for me, baby. Oops, I want you for me, baby. Oops, I done fell so deep, cause uh, everyone falls in love sometimes. just left out of Trader Joe's um, <laughs> I did my best with the footage I didn't want to be super obvious so hopefully hopefully it's okay I always feel kind of overwhelmed in there and I really hate that they that their freezers are the look down inside them because it's hard to shop around people. It would be better if they were the stand-up freezers where you can kind of like stand behind people and still see what's there. I just feel like it's a very hard, it's a very hard store to shop. Also about to go, what is that? I'm about to go to Marshall's, I think. I'm getting in the vicinity of where I think a Marshalls is so that I can see if they have any pajamas for me that I'm looking for, like the long pants ones that I'm looking for. And if not, oh, they have a torchies. If not, then I'm gonna go to, um, help me, what's the other place called? Old Navy, I'm gonna look in Old Navy, which, Old Navy, I know, will be more than what I'm willing to pay for it. So, that's neither here nor there. That is what we're doing. Oh, there's somebody from Mississippi. This is the most organized I've ever seen this. That's crazy. All right, so I'm back from the stores. I was gonna show you guys what I got. Um, start with Trader Joe's. Uh, <clears throat> I got these plantain chips. I love these. <laughs> I love these things. It's so, there's not many in the bag, but I, I love these. So, <clears throat> uh, 
I got, basically I got two of everything that are my staples from Trader Joe's. I got this vegetable fried rice. I think I said in the car that I was going to make <clears throat> some honey bourbon chicken. And so I figured that would go with it. And then I'm gonna also roast some zucchini and yellow squash. <clears throat> it's really giving whatever. <laughs> And then I like these chicken mini cilantro wontons. And I have a sweet chili sauce from Trader Joe's that I use when I cook these too. Um, <clears throat> and each one of these little thing, wait, each serving size is four pieces um, and 50 calories. So you can eat eight of these for 100 calories, some veggies, and that's a low calorie meal so <clears throat> re-up on those so i do have some but just wanted to re-up on that i've never tried this before but they had a toothpaste and if you watch my vlogmas you know one thing that i love is peppermint and this toothpaste it says anti-cavity peppermint toothpaste with baking soda and fluoride i'm trying to whiten my teeth and I think baking soda will do that. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I thought I'd give this a try. I don't know. We'll see. And then what I actually really needed from there is this uh, jalapeno sauce. It is really good on tacos. Um, you can also just eat it on uh, tortilla chips and I love that. I could sit there and eat that all day. I love that. So I got to, the one that I currently have is like almost gone. So if I make tacos or when I make tacos, there's not enough for all of our tacos. So I got two. And typically <clears throat> I'll keep one in my office at work in my fridge. So. Um, and they've gone up on the price of those because I don't think they used to be $3.49. I feel like they used to be like $2.69, but I don't know. And then also this, <clears throat> what does it say? Um, Trader Joe's Coconut Body Butter. Man, when I tell you, when I tell you this stuff is so good now i'm not one to spend 20 30 dollars on a body butter that's just not the tax bracket i'm in um so if i find something that's good i i and i got this this is probably my third batch um and i always buy it in twos i had smelled it in the store <clears throat> the first time and i got two of them and so I went back and I got two more <laughs> and I'm on my last one now. And so got two more. So this should last me at least three months because I don't use this. I don't use it every day anyway. So that's what I got from Trader Joe's. I only spent $33.40 in there. So not too bad. And then... <clears throat> in Marshall's I went in there for a pajama set <clears throat> that I can wear uh Friday and I found this <laughs> these are huge um <clears throat> it's it's the Nicole Miller New York brand but it's like a ribbed a ribbed button down top with like the black lining. It's really nice and soft and comfy. Um, they had some really nice like satin silk ones, but that's not comfortable for me. It's cute, <laughs> but it's not comfortable. So this was $19.99 and I got it in an extra large cause I did want it to be oversized and again, comfy. 
I wish though <clears throat> that the pants had a drawstring at the waist, but they don't. What I wasn't intending to get <laughs> was these, uh, oops, these cargo, oops, these cargo pants. They're like a, uh, I want to say they're not really burnt orange. They're more of like a salmon color. But I don't know what color they're coming up, coming up on there. But I really want, <clears throat> I really want some denim cargo pants. But I can't find any that I like. But these, they're nice. I got them in an extra large. I probably could have gotten a large or should have gotten a large. But um, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. But they were only $19.99, and. They were cute, <laughs> so I got them. I got <clears throat> this Miracle Repair CPR Protein Treatment from TGIN. I I think, or I thought I had this already, but um, it was very hard to find this when I did get it and I had gone to Marshall's, I think the one closer to me and they had a different one, but, um, they didn't have this one. But the reason that I have this is because as you know, like I have my hair and I mostly keep my hair in a, um, <clears throat> in a leave, a sewing with leave out. But sometimes in between I'll wear my natural hair and obviously my curls from my leave out are not, as strong as the curls that are not a part of my leave out. And so this is a curl protein reconstructor. So I make sure that I treat my hair with this in between installs and I ran out. And I believe the last time I bought it, I bought it from either Amazon, Sally Beauty or Target. But at any rate, it was like $15 and this was only eight. So <clears throat> I wanted to get that. And then I don't have the whole line. I do try to use the entire lines of products, especially when it's like a reconstructive system. And so they have the leave in and it was $8 too. I thought I had the, I thought I had the shampoo, but I just looked and I don't. So, I mean, that's something that I'll look for moving forward. And then the last thing I got was these bright eyed under under eye mask with green tea and vitamin E. Um, I have dark under eyes <clears throat> and in my skincare regimen, I don't do any kind of under eye treatments or under eye creams or anything. So I don't know, I thought this would be cool to just try and see. It's a six pack, so there's 12 patches. So, I mean, I can try it out. They were only $3.99. And, you know, who knows? Who knows for real? Good morning. It is the next day and it really is the next day. I am in the kitchen. I'm about to make a little bit of breakfast, I guess. Um, and I'm going to make my 
tea that I like from Starbucks. I'm going to make it at home today. Um, I'm not going to eat much because I'm going to lunch with um, one of my coworkers and then I have to cook some stuff tonight that's pretty heavy I think so um not I have to I'm going to <laughs> well I have to because I prepped the chicken already so um I don't want to have three heavy meals so I'm gonna just have a blueberry English muffin and some grapefruit for breakfast this morning and make this tea and if you want to know the drink that i get from starbucks that i can also make at home it's the honey citrus mint tea i actually did a video during vlogmas that shows how i make that so if you're interested go check that video out um it's also called the medicine ball um and it works magic i don't know how but it works magic for when you're not feeling the best Oh, The Chosen. Have you all heard of The Chosen on, I think it's, well, you can find it on Netflix. Netflix only has season one. Prime has all three seasons. So, um, The Chosen is the story of Jesus Christ. And my line sister had told me about it. And she had been telling me that I needed to watch it. And I finally watched it, and oh my god, it's so good. Um, season four launches in theaters February 1st. And I tell you, like, and yes, I get, you know, it's, it's theater. It's Hollywood or wherever they filmed it at. But for me, it just... I don't know what when I'm reading my Bible it makes me think that Jesus just comes in did his miracles and then he left but Jesus lived a life like a human life and he experienced a lot of the things it, it, if not if not direct experience he witnessed a lot of the things that we experience in life and surprisingly it's not very different from what they were experiencing just makes you feel a little bit more connected i know again i know these are characters but i do feel like the heart behind it is to tell the story of the bible and help people visualize it and connect with it in a different way um, just like the different translations um help you appeal to god in a way that you can better understand it now i'm a new king james virgin girly <laughs> like i that is my base um i will read i think i have new living translation in a couple of my bibles and i will read those but even still i'm going to reference back to the new king james version of the bible just so that i can you know whatever um but yeah i benched it I binged it and it was so good and there are some nuggets and I actually am going to rewatch it because um, I watched it and I was like kind of looking things up as they were occurring just to kind of line it up with scripture and just to see, you know, what what all was like scripted and written in and what was not. But um it just shows a personality a potential personality of jesus i'm not saying that that's true true thing for me it just helped me want to dive deeper into like the other resources to understand what was happening during that time and all that jazz so i have the these thomas thomas's because it does have a fresh fee um blueberry english muffins and i love blueberry and anything pretty much except actual blueberries that's crazy right because i will not eat like just wild blueberries i don't know 
I don't know, because they kind of remind me of like when I was a kid, like snake berries. And <laughs> I don't even know if snake berries are a thing or what they are, but I, just, I know that my cousins used to tell me that berries had snakes in them. And so the ones with the little holes. And so blueberries have that little hole, and I just feel like, I don't know, that's a childhood trauma, I guess. But um, I got these. And they only had like two, two of them. And I'm like, oh Lord, it's going to be something that they're going to stop selling because things that I like, they stop selling. So I grabbed them and then this honey butter from Lando Lakes. Oh my God. Like I tell you, delicious. Absolutely delicious. I have um, therapy at three, and then I'm waiting on my doctor's office to call me to tell me what time I need to be there tomorrow. Um, I have a ton of clothes that I need to get folded. Um, today is Thursday, and so yeah, I'm about to eat this, drink that, and get some stuff together. Um, and then I'll catch back up whenever I'm fully dressed. Because I'm not even fully dressed. Um, and head, heading out to meet her. So, yeah. Uh. Oof. Oh, update on the Sleepy Girl cocktail. I think I showed that I made the Sleepy Girl cocktail last night. And I personally, like I know that you're supposed to have like that magnesium powder, which I think is magnesium glutinate maybe. So the magnesium that I have may not be the relaxation magnesium, but um, they said that the tart cherry juice alone is supposed to produce natural melatonin and make you sleep. Every time I get in this car, there is a siren of some sort. Um, but I don't know. I don't, it, I didn't, I think I drank it at like 8.30 p.m. I still didn't go to sleep until midnight. So it didn't like, I was yawning, but it didn't like take me out. But I don't know if maybe I was fighting sleep or something. I don't know. But um, did I sleep well? I don't. I don't know because I really don't even have a problem sleeping <laughs> to be honest I don't have a problem sleeping so maybe maybe I didn't need it in the first place but it didn't taste bad it didn't taste bad at all um, but I do not get the hype on the poppy and maybe that's because I'm not a sparkling water girly I don't know the sparkling water that I like is clearly Canadian like that's the best sparkling flavored water I've ever had but I guess um, the poppies they're like a prebiotic so they're kind of similar to the Olipop but to me the Olipop has more flavor than the poppy and I had the cherry lime this road I had the cherry lime one and it really it really didn't it really didn't do it for me like <laughs> literally every time I'm in the car there is a siren I don't know I don't know what that's about but um but yeah so that's that's that the sleepy girl cocktail I mean I'm gonna drink that tart cherry juice just because I bought it and it's not exactly cheap um, but I was not about to spend that, that, um, that magnesium powder, that stuff is like 30, 40 bucks on, um, on Amazon. And I'm just like, I don't have it like that. Like my money ain't that long to just be hopping on 30, $40 trends and then not seeing it through. So yeah, I, mm -hmm. and then it's crazy because some people like the first, girl's recipe that I saw she just had tart cherry juice and diluted it with water I don't even know if it was a sparkling water 
that she had diluted it with, but and ice. And then, you know, y'all y'all be having to add a little razzle dazzle. Sleepy girl mocktail just not gonna be it's not gonna be my thing. And that's okay. That is okay. So yeah, I won't talk any further. I need to look at no, I'm I'm not gonna text and drive. <laughs> but um yeah, I'm about to go um, about my business today and have a lot of things to do and not a lot of time. That's crazy.